Okay, guys, let's take a look at second EQ. So we are given three equations. They want you to calculate delta H formation for gaseous HCl. So gaseous HCl, um, yes, you will need formation, right? So you need half to gas plus half gas. Okay, so this is your delta H. Okay, so we're supposed to come up with a energy cycle, or you can use the products minus reaction reactants, right? Find the delta H reaction. So I think I will do the energy cycle. This, I think the second equation. NH4C solid. Okay, so this is uh, minus 6 kilojoules per mole, right? Use it up, we'll play it out. Then the second thing that we can do again with nitrogen, right? Uh, use 1 nitrogen, 3 H2. Uh, we'll get 2 NH. S plus gas plus L2. Okay, so up first equation here. Then next, what can we do? Uh, we can use two ammonia and oh, okay. So this the next thing will be we are using our Hydrogen gas and chlorine gas straight away to form your HCl. Since we have two of them, we need to multiply by two, yeah. So the ammonia will just bring it over. Plus two HCl gas. Okay, so this will delta H formation two times. Okay, of HCl. Last but not least, I think we can combine the ammonia and the HCl. Seven, six. Okay, so our clockwise versus anti clockwise, is there a way to do it? Okay, we need to reverse one arrow. Find this and now B. Right, same as this pathway. Okay, so the green pathway equal to the yellow pathway. And do the calculation like this: minus six nine plus seven six two plus. The H formation HCl. Right? So if you go and do that calculation, you will end up negative 92.5, which is C. Okay. 